At some point in time, you may have a need to manage and change information that Nintex has about your organization. This includes details like your company's address, phone number, or maybe its website. You may also want to review the list of individuals in your organization that access Nintex University for training, or maybe even the Nintex customer partners that help you out from time to time. Maintaining this information in Nintex Customer Central is made easy by the Company Profile area, the Contacts area, and the Partners area, respectively. Let's take a look at the Company Profile area first to see what's involved with editing some of your organization's details like address and phone number. You can get there by clicking on the Customer Profile link from the left side menu of Customer Central. Upon entering this area, you will be able to review information such as primary contact for your organization or the number of contacts inside your organization that may do things like training or perform other activities in Customer Central. You can also see the names of your account manager and renewals manager here along the top. If you are an administrator for your organization, you can request to edit information for a company details by clicking on the request to edit button for that section. Fill out this form as required, then click update and a task will be sent to your account manager to update the information as desired in our customer database. This is also the case for the billing and invoice details area. This shows the name of the person responsible for billing in your organization. Down below that, if you are working with a partner, the name of your primary partner will appear. You can click the button named See All Partners to see a list of all Nintex partners assigned to your organization over in the Partners section. I'll touch more on that in a few moments. Moving on though, let's check out the contacts for the organization. You can get there by either clicking on the Contacts link in the left side menu, or you can click on the button named See All here in the Company Contacts area. When you get here, notice that your own contact information will appear in the upper part of the screen. If you are an administrator for your organization, you will be able to edit your contact record and allocate a training seat to yourself if desired. If you have paid for training seats for Nintex University, you can see total training seat count along with how many have been assigned or unassigned in the upper right section, you can also purchase more training seats by clicking on the button named Purchase Training Seats. This will open a dialog for you to select the number of seats desired. Keep in mind that all training seat purchases will be issued via a purchase order and will be added to your current Nintex Enterprise subscription contract. This request will be directed to your account manager once submitted, who will further assist you with processing the order and arranging for the pricing for your additional seats. The list of current contacts for your organization appears below. Now, keep in mind, when you add a new contact, as shown here, these will typically be internal members of your organization that you may want to set up with some non-administrator level tasks, such as being able to open and manage cases with the support team, renew contracts, or perhaps manage this list of contacts amongst other things. You can set an internal contact as another Customer Central Administrator as well for your organization, who would then have access to manage all of this information with full rights. Also of note, if you are working with a Nintex partner, you can add members of your partner organizations as delegated partner contacts to help you with tasks related to the listed permissions shown at the bottom of this form. For example, you may want to have a partner consultant be able to quickly open a support case for your organization. If that consultant needs help with something right away as they are working in your environment, they can directly open support cases rather than having to contact you or another member of your contacts list that has permission to open support cases. Remember, be sure to work this out with the partner representative you designate here so that they are aware and fully understand what you are asking of them on behalf of your organization. If you have multiple delegated partner contacts from separate partner groups, they will not be able to see each other in your list here. They will also not be able to purchase training seats for your organization. Just keep that in mind. 
You also can edit members of this list by clicking on the ellipses button shown at the right side of each record. If you want to set someone up with training in Nintex University based on your training seats, you can add or edit an internal contact, then select to allocate a training seat as desired. I'll go ahead and allocate a seat here on an existing record to demonstrate. Notice the training seat icon appears when you do this, and the training seat counts change accordingly above. Make a note, this training seat will stay with this contact once assigned. If a contact in this list happens to leave your organization, you will need to contact Nintech support for questions relating to managing their training seat if one is allocated to that person. We can also edit the details and make this person an admin. I'll do that here for this contact record by editing the details, selecting admin, internal, and submitting it back to the system. Notice the administrator icon appears after doing that. You can remove a contact by selecting the menu option, Deactivate Contact. This will essentially delete the contact record from this list, so be sure you want to perform that task before clicking through the dialog. Finally, as I mentioned earlier, you can review the partners assigned to your account by going into the Partners menu option on the left side of the page. Basically, you can set which partner displayed here should be your primary partner by clicking on the ellipses button next to the current secondary partner's name box. The information shown provides details about each partner, what they are allowed to do for your organization, along with the primary contact within each partner group. Now, if you would like to work with a partner that is not showing in this list, you will need to contact your account manager at Nintex to help you connect with a new partner as needed. We hope this information is helpful in showing you how to manage your organization's details, contacts, and partner information. For more information in these areas, remember you can always contact your account manager or Nintex support to help out.